Hello, my name is Paul Gratz, and today I'm going to talk about spatial locality speculation to reduce energy consumption in chip multiprocessor networks on chips. So power consumption is a growing concern in modern CMOS process technology. This diagram shows a breakdown of that power consumption for the Intel 80-core Terascale processor. And as you can see, a very substantial chunk, the second largest after the cores themselves, is consumed in the network on chip or the interconnect between the processors. And so this is the portion of the uh, power consumption problem that we're trying to address in this work. So that leads to the question, what is the interconnect actually used for in modern chip multiprocessors? So as it turns out, in modern chip multiprocessors, the interconnect is predominantly used for transferring cache blocks between different levels of the cache hierarchy system. The question then is, what is the utilization of those cache blocks? So the diagram here on the right shows the average utilization of cache words within a cache line. And what this literally means is, we monitored cache word lines and found out how many words were actually touched prior to the eviction of that cache line. And we see that the, while there's some variance in the, in the utilization results, generally the utilization is quite low. The average being only about 40% of the words are actually utilized before the cache block's evicted. So it's very low utilization and relatively sparse utilization. And so this is what we're going to leverage in our technique to lower ener energy in the interconnect. So as a quick reminder, this is the dynamic power equation for CMOS. The thing I want you to focus on is the alpha or the activity factor. So the activity factor defines what's the probability of a given bit being flipped. So in CMOS, dynamic power is only really ever, really ever consumed when bits, bit flips occur. And so the alpha basically represents the frequency at which that occurs. So what we propose to do in this work is we want to reduce the number of bit transitions, and hence alpha, to reduce the overall dynamic power. So what we want to do is we want to leverage the unused cache words. So how can we do this? Well, the first thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to make a prediction on which words are going to actually be used versus not used. And so what we do here is we, we leverage the observation that cache block words tend to be utilized in the same pattern as other blocks that were brought in by the same load instruction. And so we developed a prediction mechanism. The details are in the paper. But we developed a prediction mechanism that looked at, based upon the PC of the load, what the utilization is, and then can give us a bit vector that says, this is the expected utilization of the cache block. We then leverage that utilization bit vector to encode or compose the packet in a way such that we have less bit transitions as the packets flow through the interconnect. In particular, what we're doing here is we take the words that we'd expect not to be used and then overwrite them with a copy of the, the word that was previously on the same set of wires within the interconnect. And this allows us to reduce the number of transitions and hence the total dynamic power consumption. OK, so let's see how well this worked. So here we have the, the dynamic energy results for uh, our technique uh, on the Parsec benchmarks. So we see that on average, we actually get as much as a 35 uh, percent reduction in dynamic energy consumption. And in the best case, we have as much as a 65 percent reduction. So obviously, there are lots more results in the paper. Uh, I invite you to take a look at the paper, and, uh, um, and thank you so much for your attention.